It was all fun and costumes at the second annual Mission Viejo Library Comic Con featuring superheroes and other colorful characters. If you choose a costume that's recognizable, that people are obviously going to immediately connect with, you'll definitely get that positive feedback. Somebody's going to say, hey, that's cool, you're dressed up as that character. Now, as you progress a lot of times, and you're, you know what I mean, if you choose something super obscure, then there's a chance somebody may not recognize you. But if the character means something to you, that's all that should really matter. If that character is you, then you should wear that character. The people who, because there's so many animes anymore, I go to anime conventions and I cannot keep track. But if I see a cool costume and somebody who's really wearing it proudly, I'll always ask them if I can't recognize it and find out more about it. And they are always so thrilled. And photography is my other part-time hobby. And I love to take pictures of everyone dressed up in their outfits, not necessarily the pros. The pros get plenty of attention. But I love seeing the people who are out for the love of it getting attention. And I've had so many parents say, thank you so much for taking a picture of my child. She feels so excited, or he feels so excited to have somebody take this picture. I am TB92688, Imperial Biker Scout, reporting for duty. I am BH81401, Empire Strikes Back, Boba Fett, the most feared bounty hunter in the galaxy. Hello, my name is Katrina Ford. This is Legend, he's my five-year-old dragonette. Um... Fernando Del Rosario was the featured artist at this year's Comic-Con. His artwork was on display throughout the Mission Viejo Library. Well, first and foremost, this is my very first Comic-Con ever. Uh, a lot of people have told me that I should do Comic-Con, and you know, with my art, I've been really focused on doing gallery work and the Mission Viejo Library, and so when uh, the library asked me to be part of the Mission Viejo Comic-Con, it, it was an opportunity that I couldn't pass up, and it was just, I wanted to support the city and the library. Hello, I'm cosplaying Mario Hara from Love Live, and she is a school idol. I'm cosplaying Kirishima Ajiro from Boku no Hero Academia, and he's a student with superpowers. Jack Relin, Thor. The day included various artist booths, including authors and collectors. Inside the library, there were craft areas for the kids and gaming areas for teens and adults showing off their board game skills. It's a really fantastic uh, effort from a number of our staff. It's uh, an all hands on deck sort of event. We have uh, a committee that puts it together every year um, and they're just a, a bunch of creative, wonderful people who have a lot of wonderful ideas and they contact all of the vendors and get the word out. And um, we had such a great response last year that people are approaching us now. So that's been a, a really exciting development, but we've got a variety of uh, authors, artists, artists, cosplayers, you know, comics writers, uh, vendors of all different types here, and they're just doing some fantastic work. We're, we're really having a great time. Hi, I'm Rapunzel, and I love coming out here and exploring all this wonderful world all the way from Corona, and you should always bring a frying pan with you because you never know what kind of trouble you're going to get into. Hello, I'm Nate, and this is Rasheen, and we are cosplaying as a pair of uh, steampunk adventurers. We found a way to capture fairies and to use their magical powers to create a new and improved electricity power. Kids were entertained in the Friends Storytime Room. Oh my gosh, I have the most fun job in the library because I get to do stuff like Star Wars Storytime and get out my costume and get out the most fun books and just see everyone's love of the Star Wars franchise while they're learning things like letter knowledge and phonics and early literacy concepts. So it's very cool. I am Loki, Princess of Asgard. Fear me, foolish mortals. I am Otaku Uraraka, and she is from My Hero Academia. She has a gravity quirk. My name is Olivia, and the person I am cosplaying as is Alois Chansey from Black Butler Season 2. And there were seminars with special guests like Carlos Nieto III, who worked on the Emmy-winning shows King of the Hill and The Simpsons as a layout artist. So it's, just, it's inspirational for me because I get to really connect with the kind of next generation of artists, how I like to call them, and creators and thinkers, and what better way to kind of introduce them to the world of art than kind of quick how-to step-by-step guide on kind of how to demystify the drawing process for anime. I'm cosplaying Remus Lupin from Harry Potter. He is from the generation before Harry Potter, and he is a teenage werewolf. I'm a crow, and I'm actually not from a TV show. I am actually my own character. 
But the big hits of the day were the kids' cosplay fashion show. And the teen and adult cosplay fashion show. They were all winners, dressed in their own unique and creative way, bringing fun and entertainment to the second annual Mission Viejo Library Comic Con. <laughs>